they've got a wound on the leg from a bang from the car door. They've been seeing the practice nurse, but the wound doesn't seem to be improving. Should they make an appointment to see the GP? I, I would say yes, absolutely, because if things aren't, in fact, I would sp speak to the nurse about it. But frankly, if I were, if my practice nurse, the practice nurse I work with had a patient where things really were not healing, then I would be thinking seriously about the, the supply of both uh, of the veins. But actually, importantly, I'd be worried, I'd be thinking about whether or not their arteries um, were not, you know, they weren't getting enough blood supply in there. But either way, the answer is yes, you absolutely would. It may well be that the GP will then refer you to perhaps a district nurse or to a community nurse service who can then do the specialist sort of intervention, such as Leanne and her team would do to check what the pressures are like inside the leg, to check what the circulation, what the, the, blood, um, the blood vessels, both the arteries and the veins are like. Um, and I, I think that, you know, I would want that sort of person to be seen by a specialist service with Leanne and her colleagues. I think the thing to remember is non-healing is not normal. If no. the wound is not healing, there is something more that we need to do. And the no. one thing I would say is that within our primary care colleagues practice, there is a wide variation of different specialities. You have GPs, you have advanced nurse practitioners, advanced care practitioners of another nature, practice nurses, podiatrists, musculoskeletal physiotherapists, and they work fantastically as a team of finding their own expert, if you like, in-house. And it doesn't necessarily have to be a doctor within that team. It has to be the right person at the right time. And that's why sometimes we just need to move you through the internal system just so you're getting the right advice. But if it's not healing, don't just put up with one individual's assessment of that. Keep escalating, asking for others. And if you do get hit in brick doors, your GP is a fantastic point of call to really start to think about that wider underlying cause. I'm the only person you haven't mentioned, and I'm sure you would if you'd had time, would have been the tissue viability nurse specialist because they are absolutely fabulous. Couldn't live without them. <laughs>